up with. Welcome to my channel and thanks to everyone who supported last year's video. That video got nearly 5,000 views and I helped nine of you set up 11 great companies that despite the coronavirus pandemic, you launched 16 great products and made $2,404,012 in 2020. Tell me that's not awesome for a channel that only has about 50 subscribers. It's about the money, guys. It's about the money, not about how many followers you have. But before we begin, it's very important for you to do the beginning steps with me. There is important information about your email address and phone number that you need to know before setting up or you will regret it later. Let's go. In your browser, go to Alibaba.com. This is what your page should look like. If it does not, don't worry. On whatever initial page you see, just look for this join free link and click on it. This is what you should see now. On this page, you will need to select your country or region and select your intended trade role. I'm an inventor and I create products for myself and clients, so my trade role is buyer. This video is for individuals or startups who are buyers of goods on Alibaba. Now, this is what this is this is this is that warning I gave you a bit earlier. Do not use your regular private email address on Alibaba, guys. You will get spammed to high heaven. Create a new email just for use on this platform. Create your password, confirm your password, and then we get to the company name field. When I started on Alibaba in 2014, I did not have a legally registered LLC, so I made up a generic name for my company and put it here. I should note that if you do not have a legally registered company, to my knowledge, Alibaba does not verify the information you put in this field, but I'm not a lawyer and that is not legal advice. I will add that after I started my LLC, I went in to my account and updated this field. What's more important is that you must put something in this field. Now, let's go to the name field. This is very important as well, guys. Use your real legal name. It will save you a lot of headaches and hassle later when you start sourcing products. Also, Alibaba has a trade assurance guarantee that ensures manufacturers do not get paid until you have received your products. I'll go into this process a little bit later in the video, but because Alibaba's algorithm does this automatically, you will not have time in the middle of a transaction to fix a fake name or alias if you use one please just go ahead while you're setting up and use your legal name. It's perfectly fine. Now, this is the telephone field. This is another area that I warned about earlier in the video. Unless you want all types of spammy calls all hours of the day, do not use your main cell phone number for Alibaba. Please consider getting a second line that you can use for business on or with Alibaba suppliers in China and elsewhere. After entering your phone number, slide that verification trigger to prove you are a real human and then press agree and register. Bam, I'm apparently a real human, so let's move on. Now, Alibaba will send you an email with a verification code to place on this page. Don't walk away from your computer at this time because they don't give you much time to respond with the code. Once you've entered the code, press submit here. And that's it. That's it, guys. Congratulations. You are all set up and ready to start sourcing from Alibaba.com. Now, for most of you, the setup tutorial is over, so I ask that you please smash that like button. And if you're on Clubhouse, please follow at Coach Sumo. For those of you who are ready to start sourcing your first product right now, keep watching for a bit of bonus content where I show you how to navigate the site safely when looking for products. After you're registered, You'll meet your new personal assistant, Sam. Just press OK to set up your experience on the platform. Now, you should see this page. Select the type of business you are. On this page, you will select your industries. Alibaba gives you a maximum of three to choose, but don't worry because the account you just set up gives you access to every available category. On this page, you will select specific categories that you will be likely sourcing from. Your personal assistant, Sam, is very good at recommending deals and new products in these categories. 
Now, you can finish here, guys, or you can keep going to give your personal assistant more info. To keep this video short, we'll stop right here. Let's go. If you're still at your computer, go to the search bar in Alibaba and type in mink lashes. If you're not at your computer, I suggest you do this with me because I'll be pointing out some very important things. You ready? Okay. Alibaba will populate scores of results, but they are all not created equal. Please follow this part of the video to decrease the chances of either getting scammed or simply paying more than you should be paying for a direct from factory product. First, always do this step first. It's imperative that you get this. Skipping this step will give you a totally different experience on Alibaba. In the top left-hand corner of your page, you will see this area that lists category, supplier types, and product types. Category is informational, and product types, well, that's self-explanatory. But you must make sure that you tick the boxes for trade assurance and verified supplier before you continue. But why are these important, coach? I've taken a screenshot directly from Alibaba.com to explain these valuable free services or features. What is Trade Assurance? Trade Assurance is a free service offered by Alibaba.com that's designed to help create trust between buyers and suppliers. Trade Assurance covers you in the event of shipping or quality related disputes. You're covered if your products are not shipped on time as per the contract with your supplier your products do not meet the quality standards as per the contract with your supplier. How do you use Trade Assurance? Start an order online with a Trade Assurance supplier. You can place an order online or ask your supplier to draft an order for you. For your convenience, uploading a PI is recommended. I'll talk about what a PI is in just a minute. Make a payment to the bank account designated by Alibaba.com. I'll repeat that, guys. Do not go by what your supplier says. Make a payment to the bank account designated by Alibaba.com for this trade assurance to benefit you the way it's supposed to. I've been there and I've done it incorrectly and I've learned and now do it the right way. You can pay online directly on our platform via credit card and e-checking or you can pay by telegraphic transfer, so on and so forth. Now, back to that PI. A PI is a pro forma invoice. I guess I can best describe that as a preliminary bill of sale that is sent in advance of a shipment or delivery of goods. The invoice will typically contain information like a description of the purchase items, shipping weight, um, total transport charges to the buyer. I suggest you always create, especially in the beginning, you always create the invoice and send it to your supplier to agree to and then have them send it back to you until you have established a rapport or relationship with your suppliers. And this isn't about trust, guys. It's about common sense and protecting your investment. You also want to make sure you have the verified supplier box ticked. To qualify as a verified supplier, a supplier's company profile, production capabilities, products, and process controls have to be inspected, assessed, and verified by independent third-party institutions to assure reputable and consistent expertise on Alibaba.com. Now, the important part of that statement is independent third-party institutions. This is not Alibaba checking on the suppliers who are on their platform. That's very important. So there's no conflict of interest. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Now, let's move on. I'm choosing this listing for the following reasons. The very first thing I'm making sure of is that this supplier is both verified and approved for trade assurance. Check. Next, I'm making sure this supplier has been in business for more than three years. This is very important, guys. Now that those must-haves are confirmed, I open the listing, and this is the next crucial step. Scroll down until you see this area. Click on the company profile tab and verify the following. Make sure. Different voice. Make sure. 
deeper voice, make sure that the manufacturer has this. Make sure that manufacturer is the first thing listed under business type. It's okay if the supplier is also a trading company, but do not do business with just a trading company. I will put a link above to a video I did that explains how to further spot supplier scams in China. Let's, let's look at it this way. Uh, come on, coach. Much like if you live in the United States, you know for a fact that there are absolutely no orange groves in New York City. So if you choose to buy oranges wholesale from New York, you know the seller is a trader and drastically marking up oranges he or she bought from Florida or California or elsewhere. Well, manufacturers of products need raw materials to make products. And in China, certain regions or provinces have those raw materials naturally. If you really want to understand sourcing in China, watch that video where you will learn how to further investigate a supplier's validity. Next, you're looking for the number of total employees. Be suspicious of anything below 10 employees if you're steering clear of trading companies. Now, for clarity, trading companies have their place in this industry, in this business, and, 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 and they can definitely be legitimate businesses. In fact, AliExpress is made up of mostly trading companies. But if you are selling a product, you need the lowest possible prices. Deal directly with manufacturers that have factories. Okay. I also like to check the product capacity section where I can make sure the supplier has invested in actual equipment and I can also confirm that they are not located in a tiny little office somewhere in China. This particular company does own expensive autoclave machines and a dryer and the place where their business is registered is just under a thousand square meters, which is just over math, 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 10,000 square feet, okay? Only a manu manufacturer would require this much space. And that's it, guys. If there's enough interest, I will do a follow-up video where I go all the way through the acquisition process for the mink lashes we selected in this video. Thank you for watching. And I will be honest, I'm very bad with responding to comments on YouTube. But I do have a great excuse. I own several businesses. I'm an angel investor and teach people how to start businesses that I can possibly invest in. I have several blogs, several YouTube channels, nearly a dozen products out there being sold somewhere, hopefully, right? And most importantly, I'm a father. So you're welcome to comment, but if you need specific help, please follow me on Clubhouse or contact me on the website I created exclusively for Clubhouse. Like, subscribe, share. Thanks a lot. I'll see you in the next video.